Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. So in this case, if you want to move your money, your tokens from gate.io into your MetaMask wallet, let's follow these simple steps. So first of all, guys, in order to continue, you need to have your gate.io already opened. And as you can see, I have above in here my MetaMask wallet added as an extension here. So what I want to do now, now that I have these two options in here, I'm going to select these three dots, go into connected sites and manually connect to current site. So I can go into next and connect. Now that my wallet has been successfully connected, I want to go into gate.io and look for the wallet and funds overview. Then what I want to do is select the option that says withdraw in my spot account or your merging account. In my case, it's my spot account. Then what you guys want to do is to select the token that you want to make the swap for. In my case, I'm going to be using USDT or it can be Avalanche as well. Then I need to use a specific chain. Now, if there's a chain that I have to use in order to make transactions here into MetaMask, I strongly suggest you guys to go into chainlist.org where you can connect your MetaMask wallet in here, head into connect. And then once you are in here, you can look for the chain that gate.io is requesting. In my case, it's Avalanche C chain. So I'm gonna add this to MetaMask. I want to approve and switch networks and I can successfully select AVEX chain here. Now what I want to do is to go into MetaMask and make sure that I'm using the right network. And then what I want to do is to copy my address into my clipboard and paste it right into gate.io. Once I've done that, if you want to use the maximum amount of AVEX here, you can go ahead and select your availability. Then it's gonna be asking you for your fund password. If you don't have a fund password, just or you haven't set a fund password, just go into this section where it says fund password and go to settings. If you already have your fund password, just hit it into continue. Then it's gonna be asking you for an SMS code where you have to retrieve that from your phone as well as your email code. If you have set up a Google Authenticator, you just need to put a number in here, a six number. If you have not enabled that, just leave that in blank. And then go into submit request. Now, if you go into your recent withdrawals, you're gonna see that your transaction is gonna be available in here. And if you go to your MetaMask wallet, you should see that your money is now available in here. Actually, you might see the number and the transaction in here also, just in case that you don't see your token here, go into endpoint tokens. And it's gonna be asking you for a token contract address. In order to find a contract, you need to go into coin market cap and look for the token that you sent to MetaMask. Once you find your token, just go into the contract section and copy your address. Remember to use exactly the same network in order to in order to copy your contract. Once you have your contract address token, just paste the address and hit into continue. And you should see your token now available into your MetaMask. If you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about gate.io and MetaMask. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.